Hey Broncos, welcome to the holiday edition of Bronco TV. I'm Travis. And I'm Taylor. Wow, looking pretty snazzy, Travis. I know, ho ho. I'm getting into the holiday spirit just like our other Broncos out there. Hey Broncos, it's Noelle. As we approach the winter break, our Broncos have been getting in the holiday spirit by participating in fun activities around campus. The dance program wowed our Broncos with their Frozen-themed concert, showcasing all of the hard work they've put in for this first term. At the winter assembly, our Broncos showed off their musical talents with a combination of some Christmas classics. Our orchestra and band had their winter concerts, each put a festive twist on some classic carols. The choir concert went above and beyond with their amazing winter ensemble. Our Broncos have been getting in the holiday spirit, making their winter wishes on the tree in the small quad. As well as giving back to the community with our annual food drive. Leading up to winter break, staff and students have been taking part in festive spirit days. Teachers and students have worked together to create the most festive doors on campus. So we have each class during the third period class decorate the door. We have multiple subjects so you can win for most tacky, most holiday themed and overall. Well Broncos, we've made it here to the end of 2016 so congratulations. I know you're ready for a much needed break, spending some time with your friends and family and uh, hopefully getting some rest. Have a great break Broncos and we'll see you in 2017. Hey Travis, do you ever get hungry on the holidays? Taylor. I'm always hungry. Well, you're in luck then. The program's office here at RB always offers food and a helping hand for those in need. Hey Broncos, it's Taylor. Here at RB, we have many great resources for students, such as the program's office. The RB program's office is a place where students can go for help, school necessities, and a nice place for students to hang out. The purpose of the program's office is for student support on campus. A safe place that students can come to, to hang out at lunch, to hang out at breaks. It's also a place where students can come if they're having a bad day. It's just meant to be a safe haven on our campus for students because everyone has bad days. The reason it makes an impact on the students is because of all the support that I get to be able to be here and support the students. There's always food given out at breaks and lunch. The only thing required is a smile and manners. Adopt a Family is a program that we do here at Rancho Bernardo where we try to help struggling families during the holiday season. They're teaching the students and giving that, them the opportunity to learn the true meaning of the season, which is giving to others. So how did our fall sports do this season? You do realize it was one of the best seasons for our fall sports, right? Really? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Michaela. Winter sports are already getting into gear following the success of the fall season. Our fall sports did extremely well this season. All teams made it to semifinals except golf and field hockey that won CIF titles. Well, fall sports had an incredible season. This was probably the best one we've had in as long as I can remember. Sometimes the fall sports set the tone for the rest of the year. When you have a good fall, it carries over into winter. We have an awesome coaching staff, and, and these individuals that lead our programs really are committed. So good job to Bronco Athletics and fall sport teams. For the first time in Rancho Bernardo history, field hockey has gone above and beyond in their season to win CIFs. I think the secret to our success was just coming together and playing as a team and we wanted to make history, we wanted to be the first team to bring home uh, the banner for field hockey. With the momentum of the fall season, our winter athletes are preparing for a great season. Keep fighting Broncos! Hey Travis, you know about Candy Cane Lane, right? No, what is that? You don't know about Candy Cane Lane? Who are you? Ugh. Do you know about Candy Cane Lane? Thank you! Hey Broncos, it's Keon here at Candy Cane Lane to see how our community celebrates the holidays. 
Some of our Broncos had the opportunity to visit Candy Cane Lane, best known for its spectacular light show. There are also many other fun activities for family and friends to enjoy. Everything from hot cocoa to movies and cookies. What's your favorite part about Candy Cane Lane? All of the lights. All of the lights, all the houses, all the people. That there's candy canes everywhere <laughs> and all the people are so nice. Well, obviously the lights, but also the community. Like, this is one of the things that we love to do with our friends. I think this is um, fantastic that people, that citizens are willing to, you know, obviously spend the time and the money to do this and make something special for families to come and walk around. So tell us a little bit about your Christmas decorations. Um, so these are our dogs, past and present. We slowly made them over the years, and now we've got about six of them out there. Tell us a little bit more about your hot cocoa booth. Um, our hot cocoa booth is we put it together. Basically, we just give away the cookies and the cocoa to everyone in the neighborhood, and we're collecting donations for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, it's pretty close to our hearts because a good friend of mine, she beat lymphoma about 13 years ago um, due to a stem cell transplant, so we know that the research is really good and worth it. <laughs> That's it for this holiday episode of Bronco TV. Make sure to check us out on YouTube and, and subscribe. subscribe. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. That's it for this episode of ho uh, Holiday TV. <laughs> <laughs>